welcome to another video from Up New X looking at Chinese dramaland in the past week and let's get right into it. First, last week I forgot to add one drama that was alive already. Pin the comment under that video, but in case you're wondering, that is the Wang Ziqi, Zhang Yuxi led contemporary romantic drama, guess who I am? Now let's get to this week's business and we have a lot of stuff. First, we have a drama that's literally going live today as I'm filming this video. This is an ITE drama that has sold its rights to Mango as well. So this drama is on, on both ITE and Mango television. It's also on Beijing satellite television. 37 episodes, comedy that's set in the 80s, 90s. Dongbei, Northeast China. So just know that location, you'll know it's going to be filled with comedy. It's famous for all the comedies that comes from that region. The title is called Cheng Feng. Ta Lang, very similar to the original title of War of Faith, Chang Feng Po Lang. Wondering if that's why that drama changed its title to Dre Feng Zhe. English title is a lot more direct and let you know what's going on called The Swimsuit Saga. So this is a story about 80s, 90s, this couple in Dongbei who started an entrepreneurship of creating swimsuits. Imagine when they first start to create swimsuits, how outlandish the idea will look like to their local villagers. And the drama is led by Qiao Shan and Yang Zishan. Pretty interesting combination. Since it just went live, I haven't had time to check it out. I'll try my best to get to it. Then we have quite a lot of dramas that are rumored to go live either very soon or maybe in a week's time. Some of them are not 100% confirmed, but they're very likely to happen. One drama is confirmed that will go live on Youku, and that is the one that I've talked about last week with its trailer, Xi Hua Zhi, the story of Hua Zhi. Last week or the week before, I can't remember, but it's coming out on the second on Youku. Let's see if Hui Ting and Zhang Jingyi's pairing is gonna work out some magic. Then we have three dramas that are all kind of 95% confirmed, but just waiting for that final, final say. And the dates may change a little bit. First, Youku drama, April the 7th, Shoshu Zhibojian Live Surgical Room. It is a contemporary 28 episode medical drama led by Zhang Bingbing and Dai Xu. And I think Zhang Bingbing's character is a doctor who came from other hospitals landed in our narrative center point hospital as the talented new surgeon and he will meet Dai Xu's role. Both actors are pretty good given the right script and good direction. So hopefully this can be a good medical drama, but for medical dramas, I'm always super cautious since it's two guys leading it. Depends on if magic is gonna happen that we can ship them. <laughs> See if Yoku can do it this time. They haven't been able to do it for some years now. Then likely one day after that on the 8th, the contemporary drama I've talked about multiple times before, Cheng Zhong Zhi Cheng, City of the City on ITE may go live, led by Bai Yufan and Yu Hewei. And then one day after that, on the 9th, 95, 98% confirmed that Cheng Huan Ji is gonna go live. Best choice ever, Yang Zi and Xu Kai. And we've been seeing multiple trailers coming out recent weeks, so it's very likely that this is gonna happen. So you do have all three platforms lined up and trying to put new dramas out early. April. Let's see which one would actually happen and on time. Then we do have a film that has just announced during China's Labor Day holiday, which would be the beginning of May. On the first day of May, a film is gonna go into cinema, 穿过月亮的旅行, I love you, to the moon and back. Based on the trailer, I think it looks like it's set in late 80s or early 90s. There's this young couple, they're from remote villages and they go to big cities like Guangzhou, Shenzhen, those places to dagong, to work in all types of conveyor belt factories. And this young couple, to get the best jobs they can, are separated in different cities and they can only see each other once a month. The dream and the romance and the conflict they have, that type of film. The interesting thing about this project, if you look at its trailer and its casting, that will make you laugh, is the leads are Hu Xianxu and Zhang Zifeng. Both of them are child actors. Many years ago, they were in this drama, early middle school age young teen. And there's this snippet in the drama where Hu Xianxu's role would talk to Zhang Zifeng's role and it's like, in the future, you're gonna marry me, you know? <laughs> we're destined to be together. About seven years later in the film version, they literally are playing a young couple. Wa Wa Qing, which means childhood marriage arrangement somehow turned to be true in the drama and film space between these two persons. So it's pretty interesting. And for people who have this nostalgic sort of view on these two when they were little, probably that would be a reason for them to at least try to check it out in the cinema and see what this film is about. If the tickets are not 
ridiculously expensive. <laughs> then we have a couple of dramas that has gotten its license during this week. First is the I will definitely check it out when it airs drama. And Tencent probably has bet heavy money on this year. Contemporary romantic 40 episodes drama led by Liu Yifei and many guys. 玫瑰的故事, Tale of the Rose. The drama has passed censorship, gotten its license. Then we have another contemporary romantic drama also led by people who are uh, who have been in drama land for many years that actually was ready for a while and still hasn't gotten its license until now. That is the Zhong Hanliang and Qin Lan led drama, Yi Wu Zhi Cheng, Second Dance Romance. I think that's the current English title. Xiao Wa Wallace. There was a time that I was super, super fangirling him. But over the years, I just find he's so resistant against aging and he keeps playing roles that are far younger than his actual age and I wonder whether it's really that necessary and often it doesn't actually make him look that good and if this drama airs I'll definitely check it out just to see how it works out but honestly right now I have very neutral expectation then we have one drama that has wrapped during this week not saying there aren't other dramas wrapping but this is the only one I managed to catch and that's a drama that when it started airing, I talked about it once, called Jingguan, Lü Jian, Yi Ke, a really weird name, Gimlet Eyes, that talks about custom. Very specifically, people who work at China's customs and how they every day try to make sure that weird things don't get into the country. And it's a 24 episode contemporary drama led by Ji Yong Chao and Huang Yao. Let's see if we can see this before the end of this year. Then let's talk about many other dramas that are either starting to promote, already started shooting, or just started shooting or will start shooting. First, Nan Hong. <laughs> the sister drama of Hidden Love. Right now, the English title is The First Frost, led by Bai Jingting and Zhang Ruonan, has released its first round of official promotional materials this week, basically posters. So I'll put them up, give you an idea about what the characters look like. If the Spring Mountain didn't happen, probably people wouldn't be that interested in this drama. But now, since it's after Spring Mountain, I think it would just bring more people into this drama and trying to see what it's like. And if you've seen Hidden Love before, then you probably will be more intrigued about how this one is gonna work out. Then, many new dramas started shooting this week in no particular order. First, we have a pair of drama that has started shooting this week called Gui Nu Noble Woman or Noble Girl something like that. And it's led by Chen Duling and Xin Yunlai. It is a 30 episodes Tencent period drama that talks about a girl who's actually from a really affluent family, but she grows up in the village countryside. One day she goes back to her capital family to everyone's surprise. Supposedly she shouldn't be there. And then she gets noticed by a young official who works at, let's say, equivalent to today's Supreme Court of the country and they somehow ended up marrying each other and go on to solve certain kind of mysteries that's tied to the girl's family background and some core drama some epic history dark secret review type of saga 30 episodes so you kind of get an idea about it's not going to be a ginormous drama in terms of its plot but it's not going to be tiny either Chen Duling now is getting more and more leading roles than before she just keeps getting second lead brows. It definitely means that she has climbed up the ladder quite a bit since last year. She's in many other dramas that haven't aired and may go live and most likely will go live this year. So let's see if 2024 is going to be Chen Duling's year. Then we also have a paper drama 40 episodes on Ai Qi that has started shooting. This looks like another heavyweight period drama. Probably will have a more realistic and heavier feel called English title, The Tycoon. Yeah, just the title is going to give you a good idea about what it's about. And it's led by Chen Xiao, Sun Qian, Luo Yizhou. It is a story set at the end of Qing Dynasty. And our main character, Chen Xiao, is this guy who would go through many obstacles and challenges and eventually becoming a very successful businessman, the tycoon. It's not the first time that he is playing a major role in a period drama set in late Qing Dynasty that's to do with business. Which one can you remember? with Sun Li, Not so long ago, but... Now, come to think of that, it's like seven years already. Fingers crossed it's going to turn out to be an interesting drama since it's a period drama and it's 40 episodes. We're not going to see it until next year. Then somehow things happened in clusters. So we've gotten another drama that's very close to the time setting of this drama that has started shooting this week as well. This time it's a 40 episode drama too, but it's on Yoku and it has a very long title called Zhuo Zhuo Shaohua, Feng 
和起。Does not have an English title yet, and I highly doubt they're gonna keep it when the drama actually airs. It is another business-oriented drama set at the end of Qing Dynasty, or slightly later, like right after Qing Dynasty, and we're in early Ming Guo. This time, the lead character is female instead of male. It will be led by. 热依扎，杨佑宁，毛子俊。It starts with her marrying into a business family, and she gets involved in the business running of the family, and she's very good at it. The husband is gonna die, and she's gonna change her focus of business from Chinese medicine to actually department store. And it's very similar to 那年花开月正圆孙俪 plotline, where she marries into a family and then loses the husband and has to go on a different route of things and meeting new. Guys and also doing bigger businesses. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Two different platforms: Qin Dynasty, End of Qin Dynasty, set in business drama. Both forty episodes. One containing Na Nian Hua Kai Yue Zheng Yuan, one of the main male actor. Another one looks like another version of Na Nian Hua Kai Yue Zheng Yuan. See things just. Tend to happen together. Both dramas will be long dramas, and we will not see them until next year. But I'll definitely keep it on my watch list of dramas to expect and look forward to next year. We have another drama that has started shooting this week, and it's called "Thirty Nine Twenty Eight Twenty Eight." Literally means thirty nine twenty eight. And the English official title right now is "A Better Life." As for at the end of it, whether it's gonna keep the title, who knows? It's a Youku drama, and it's led by Sun Li and Dong Zijian. So she is the thirty-nine, and he is the twenty-eight. It's a contemporary drama focused on insurance, and Sun Li will play a very successful broker, pretty much like her role in "I'll Find You a Better Home." She's very successful, mid-age, at the top of her game, and something happens that causes a huge. Claps of her career, and then in comes this young guy, more than ten years younger than her, who's also in the business, who is a casted away for that second generation, who gets kind of kicked out of his family and needs to find his own footing. So they come together and starts with definitely a bad relationship, and then gradually becoming more understanding of each other and become really good pals. And you're gonna basically see Sun Li being paired up with Dong Zijian as actor and actress. Both of them are pretty qualified and they're very good. If The foundation of this drama is good enough and strong enough, and obviously the director doesn't f it up. <laughs> it could be a really good one since they just started shooting. Let's see if they can pull some magic and make it happen before the end of this year. Finally, to wrap up today's video, we have a drama that hasn't said exactly when, but very likely to start shooting in April, and it's a Mango Television period drama, thirty episodes, Yun Hua Ruo Jin, led by Song Weilong and Bao Shangen. This is a period drama about a fictional time setting where the male lead is a prince who comes back from border to the capital to invest. Investigate a military fund embezzlement case that would rattle the whole country's sort of foundation. Marries a girl whose family is involved in this whole case. Her family gets destroyed, but to protect her, he marries her, and they together are trying to solve the case. That type of plot is nothing new, but when it's well written, it can be interesting. I really like the actress Bao Shangen. I think she's one of the hopefuls for the future. In terms of Song Weilong, if he gets dubbed, if this time he doesn't act so wooden, it may work. At least he's very eye pleasing. Like you can't argue with that. Right now it's too early to tell. Until the drama actually starts shooting, we shall see how it's going to turn out. I think I've talked about everything I've collected up to this point this week. First quarter of 2024 is already gone. <laughs> Time flies. Hope you are getting some good spring weather if you are on this side of the earth, and if the other side, then you're getting some good fall. Thanks for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.